Hey, uh, welcome to uh, Intercourse, our little streaming, uh, whatever the fuck this is. Uh, uh, what's going on? Um, uh, let me just uh, let me just get some. Uh, um, let me just sell some shit first, uh, just to let people know what's going on. Um, our, uh, our novel is out, uh, Bratva, which is um, uh, a novel that uh, Chris Golden uh, has written based on a, a, a story that uh, uh, we put together um, that takes place... Uh, Sort of between seasons, uh, and includes uh, all our, most of our main guys, um, and some other fan favorites. Um, uh, takes place in in the world of uh, uh, Bratva, which is uh, the uh, I think it's that the Russian word for uh, brotherhood, but it's essentially their uh, their mafia. Um, what else? Uh, the elusive SOA game, our tablet game, I understand, is uh, looking great, and um, I think the right now it's at. Uh, you know, we're releasing it through Apple. <clears throat> I think it's at Apple. So uh, Apple apparently had a couple requirements for the game, so those are being adjusted. Um, but uh, the plan is for that to come out, uh, hopefully. <laughs> you know, uh, when people still remember the show, uh, what else we are doing, um, uh, a, uh, um, a compilation book, I guess you could say it's a big, um, sort of coffee table book, uh, that will be released, uh, the week of the, the finale or the day after the finale. And it is, um, uh, it's actually really well done. It's uh, all exclusive interviews with the cast and crew, um, uh, tons of photography um, that uh, <clears throat> our our, uh, our Fox photographer has taken, but also a lot of photographs that our cast and crew has taken uh, over the years that nobody's ever seen before. It's a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Um, uh, a breakdown of every episode, all the characters. It's a really sort of very inclusive um, uh, uh, book, and I think um, uh, I think fans will dig it. And conveniently, just in time for Christmas. Uh, what else? There is no show this Tuesday night, as you may or may not know, uh, and. Uh, um, and yeah, the hair is down. The hair is down. Uh, I wash my hair every seven months, whether it needs it or not. And when I do, I wear it down. Um, what was I saying? Oh, there's no show Tuesday. Uh, I think we started last year. Uh, FX be became part of their uh, uh, um, programming format where they don't uh, air original episodes in, during the Thanksgiving week. It's, it's mainly because it's a you know it's a rough week for TV. Most people are away, so uh, so episode twelve and thirteen will air um, uh, after Thanksgiving. Um, what else? Uh, not a lot left to talk about. Sons of Anarchy. Um, he said with a sad smile. Um, we, um, obviously we wrapped, uh, production on the finale. I've wrapped, um, we've, I've finished post on episode 12. Um, I'll be mixing that, uh, I'll be mixing that on Sunday. Um, cause I don't like to wait to the last minute. Uh, and uh, I uh, pretty much locked picture on the finale uh, yesterday. Uh, we still have some visual effects stuff and, and some ADR stuff, but uh, 
uh, for the most part, um, the uh, big pieces are all in the puzzle. Um, uh, so that's what's going on with the show. Um, and uh, not that you want to hear about this because you're here for Sons of Anarchy, but you're a captive audience. Um, we, uh, I began the writer's room this week for uh, The Bastard Executioner. Um, after my three and a half hours of hiatus. Um, and uh, I'm in the process of uh, writing the pilot. And um, uh, so that's exciting. I have a, a really good group of writers and uh, it's sort of fun jumping into a completely different world, completely different time, completely different uh, vernacular. Um, it's the toughest thing for me right now with the pilot is the story is all broken and on my board here, but, um, you know, trying to find the different rhythms of speech and vernacular and uh, I'm not writing it in period speech um, just because, uh, A, there's no actual um, recording of what that vernacular sounded like with intonation and everything. So, um, and every time I hear like, yees and thous and it always just sounds ridiculous and goofy no matter how well trained the actor or no matter how solid the writing so it'll just be a uh, uh, um, um, simple British uh, dialects and uh, and a very sort of simple vernacular but um, I'm not used to writing simple vernacular so it's been uh, it's been the challenge of finding uh, tone and style uh, within that whole different, uh, feel, uh, not that you need to know my problems, but that's sort of what's going on. Um, and my, uh, 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 my wife is in Rhode Island filming, uh, bleed for this, uh, with Miles Teller and Aaron Eckhart. I think she's going to join us. Uh, unfortunately I wanted to jump in and, and maybe try to talk to Miles. Uh, 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 but uh, they're three hours ahead, obviously, so they're pretty much wrapped for the day. So I think we're just going to touch base with Katie and see how uh, that's all going and uh, allow you to pepper her with questions she most likely will not be able to answer. Um, so that's it. That's my spiel. Look at that. I can just go on for fucking hours. Uh what else? Um, that's it. Let's, uh, Xander, let's open up if there's anybody out there uh, that wants to uh, say hello. If Katie's around, patch her in. The lines are now open and still waiting for Katie. Of course we are. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to, let's see. Let's, let's see what's going on. I'm going to text Katie. Um, and say, are you joining us? Here we go. Uh, lines are open. Uh, um, I can, re oh, I can read uh, some of these off the bottom here. People have questions. Um, uh, let's see, here comes some folk. Um, yes, we have a new scroll at the top. We're, we're, uh, we've become the, uh, the CNN of live streaming. Um, let's go, uh, to, there's a, uh, there's someone in, in, uh, box two. Uh, yes. Well, I just want to say thank you for being the maniacal genius that you are. Oh, thank you. Tell me your name. My name's Ann. Hi, Ann. And Tuesday's night, that episode, I think, topped the episode where, um, with Opie's funeral. Oh, wow. Thank you. It had me in tears. Yeah. It was Jimmy big... Smith's. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. It was, uh, 
you know, we had made the decision to play that. Um, well, he, he, Jimmy had a lot of great scenes, but we made the decision to play that scene with him getting the information from Jax uh, in silence so that we don't really hear the conversation. We just see it through his face. And uh, there's not a lot of actors that uh, I would uh, trust to just sort of have that story be relayed through uh, emotionality. Um, and uh, Jimmy is definitely one of those guys. And uh, uh, I think it ended up being more heartbreaking just uh, sort of seeing it play out, you know, across his face. Um, and uh, um, yeah, kudos to Jimmy. I thought he did an amazing job. They all did. And I'm looking forward to the ba bastard executioner. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I think it's... It'll be a very different show, but um, I feel like uh, tonally and thematically um, it'll touch a lot of the same buttons that uh, Sons does. Um, basically, I have no new ideas. You know, it's just uh, uh, <laughs> they're just going to be on horses instead of motorcycles is really the truth. <laughs> but uh, 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 but uh, thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, now all I have to do is write it. Um Let's uh, let's take a question. Uh, there's a uh, uh, a young lady in a white shirt in box five four. Is that yes? Oh, am I on? Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm calling. My name is Mahina, and I'm calling from Hawaii. Hi, Mahina. <laughs> Where in Hawaii? Um, from Hawaii, Oahu, Hawaii. Oh. Yeah. Are you, are you um, a native? Are you a native Hawaiian? Yes. Awesome. What and, is your question? Um, my, my question to you is: How do you feel about writing from Sons of Anarchy dramas to your new TBX dramas? Um, what do you have to do to prepare for that mentally, I guess, um, to change your state of mind in the different direction you're going? Um, I don't know if it's a, 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 you know, for me, it's not so much preparation as uh, just um, doing it, meaning that uh, I think I'll find the rhythm of the show and the rhythm of the writing um, by just sort of throwing myself into it and making a lot of mistakes and, and, and hating it for a great deal of the time and until I sort of figure it out. So um, I really, you know, I have had, quite honestly, and, and I sort of planned it this way, I haven't had a lot of time to prepare, uh, meaning uh, if, I, if I think about stuff too much, it's, it's a really bad idea. So uh, uh, I, I purposefully... Um, sort of dovetailed these two projects together because I knew it would be uh, uh, difficult to end the Suns and uh, I knew it would be difficult to begin a new show. So I, I, I sort of tried to create the dynamic that didn't allow me uh, a lot of time to worry or stress about it. Um, so, uh, um, uh, and that's sort of what uh, what's been going on. So uh, you know, we're just in it. I threw myself in it. I have a great, you know, uh, Paris Barkley is directing it, and uh, you know, we've hired our production designer and our line producer and our casting director, and uh, you know, we're uh, we're we're into it. So uh, it just ultimately kind of takes on a life of its own, and and you at some point you just sort of have to hold on. So. Um, but uh, that's a great that's a great question. Thank you. Um, there's a lady in the box above her, or a gentleman. I can't see. The lighting is very strange. Kurt, Kurt, it yes. looks like uh, Katie is in eight, but uh, we can only hear her. We can't see her right now. Yeah. What uh, do I what do I do, honey? Did you click? Make sure the video box on the bottom is is not click is clicked. See on the bottom of your screen, there's a little camera uh, of the uh, Skype. No, there's not a camera. Can you hear me? Hi. I, I can hear you. Um, I can see you with all those boxes, but I don't. But oh, well, we can't see you. I bet you, Kate, if you go down and put your arrow at the bottom of your Skype thing, there should be a, a bar with, like, 
a telephone, a microphone. Oh, yeah. So what do I do? The one with the camera? Is there an X on it? No, there's not. It says front camera, back camera. No, there's no X. I don't know. Can you click on that? I did, and oh, it came up. It said front camera, back camera, no camera. Oh, okay. So Where are, are, you on your, are you on your computer? No, I'm on my little iPad. Oh, okay. Um, Xander, you have any advice for her? Uh, so it gives you the option, front camera or back camera. I would click uh, uh, back camera. Back oh, camera. oh, you know what? Select front camera because because I think it's showing uh, the back of your hand. So if you switch the camera around, it'll turn to see your face. I hope. I just did that. Okay, let's see. Nothing happened. Is your is your cover on? Yes. Take your Take cover. It off. Yeah. <laughs> if it's that, I'm going to be really embarrassed. Okay. My cover's off. It's right. still not something. Huh. Turn the, turn the iPad around. Let's see if we can see your face. Do what? Oh, like turn this? It. Okay, yeah. hold on. No, so there's no camera on. All right. Oh. What do I do? Uh, um, uh, you know, if uh, Katie, if you try uh, hanging up and calling back, that might boost it into oh. try that. Okay, I'll try that. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, welcome to my life. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's go to the uh, the box number one. Hi, is that me? I think so. Yes. The, I'm sorry. Great. The light is uh, there. You go. When you lean in, it's a little better. Thank you. Tell me your name. Okay. Um, I'm Ann. I'm from Minnesota, and I Hi, rode out Ann. there for the premiere on my Harley. Wow. Yeah. Did you get I in? I saw you riding around on set. Wow. Do you have a question, Ann? Yes, I do. And it's a little bit not current, but I'm curious about this from the mythology, uh, from the mythology standpoint. It's a question about Tara. Okay. And I'm wondering if she, I mean, as a doctor, obviously she knows how um, things work medically. So how did she get pregnant so much, like with Cone and with Jax, and then all the stuff with the uh, STDs, that kind of stuff? Is she just sloppy or <laughs> verbal? <laughs> uh, um... Uh, I don't remember the STDs, but uh, uh, I think, um, uh, no, I just think she's very fertile. Okay. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, we've, uh, uh, we've definitely, uh, you know, things happen uh, in uh, TV time, uh, obviously. You know, I think if anybody ever did the math on this show, I think all seven seasons would cover about 11 days. So, uh, um, um, but uh, uh, no, I think uh, uh, I think she. You know, we had a. You know, we had other backstory components to Tara. Uh, you know, that never that never really made it to screen. And I know Maggie had done a lot of homework on on her, but. Um, uh, uh, yes, I would say that uh, um, she was uh, uh, she was of that ilk of, of woman who, uh, uh, you know, sometimes a, uh, a bright smile can get them pregnant. So uh, <laughs> that's 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 my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay. Uh, let's go to the gentleman in box three. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hey, how are you doing, man? Good, man. How are you? What's your name? Uh, Jason. Hey, Jason. Hey. Oh, just a quick question. Um, how how did you uh, come up or get inspired for the concept of uh, Sons of Anarchy? Uh, it was um, it was uh, there's Katie Lou. It was <laughs> <laughs> fixing her hair. <laughs> uh, it was um, uh, initially the pitch uh, was. Uh, I, I, my other executive producers, uh, John Linson and Art Linson, had met with me, I guess, eight, nine years ago now. And um, 
uh, were sort of fascinated by the biker culture and, and thought that um, it might be a cool idea to to do a, a, a TV show about bikers. And um, and there was really no story or, or life rights or anything. They just um, had a passion for the world and had access to the world. And, uh, and then they kind of cut me loose. And uh, so I was really able to sort of um, come up with the story on my own. And, you know, it's based on, you know, uh, the framework of it is based on real clubs in terms of historical reference and and uh, and lifestyle and look. Um, but uh, you know, it's obviously a, a fictitious organization, and uh, it's one of the you know it's a smaller club in terms of size. But uh, um, and, and as I was formulating a lot of that, the the Hamlet archetype sort of kind of. Uh, uh, came to me and, and it, it ended up being uh, a really good fit over the dynamic that I was working with. And uh, uh, and then I let that inform, you know, character relationships and, and a little bit of story. But uh, but then ultimately, the you know, the whole Hamlet thing was uh, was more was more about character and tone than it was narrative. You know, so it's not like we're retelling the story uh, other than, you know, we fucking kill a lot of people. So uh, uh, so that's sort of the way that bounces out. Uh, hi, Katie. How are you? Hi. I'm good, honey. How are you? Yeah, I'm well. Tell us, about, tell us about what you're doing. Well, uh, actually, I'm in Providence, Rhode Island. Right. And I'm shooting a movie. I'm shooting a movie called Bleed for This, Oops, which is based on um, the life story of a fighter, a, a boxer named Vinny pa Pazianza. It was actually, his name was Vinny Paz. And it's based on a true story of a boxer who um, midway through his career broke his neck in a car accident and then rehabilitated himself and went on to fight Roberto Duran and become a heavyweight uh, uh, titled fighter. So I'm here, I'm playing his mother. And um, that's what I'm doing. And who's in it? Oh, it's with Miles Teller. Miles Teller plays Vinnie Paz, and Aaron Eckhart plays his boxing coach, and uh, Kieran Hines and myself. Awesome, awesome. And where, where are you at in the process? How far into? Yeah, we've been shooting now for, how long have I been gone? Like 10 days, I think. Okay. I think they're on day nine. And uh, I'm going to come home for a week, 10 days, and then I come back for another couple weeks. It's a, it's a pretty quick shoot. Cool, cool. It's a really good script. It's Scorsese's producing it. It's really, it's very cool. I really like it. Good, 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 good. Um, I'm going to open up and take some questions, and we'll see what happens. Uh, I think uh, the uh, box number two, I think, is next. The lady with the hat. We can't hear you. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, there okay, she is. Well, there she is. Can you hear me now? We can hear you. Okay. First of all, I just feel like a little teenage schoolgirl, starstruck, and some nuts. But anyway, um, I just wanted to say I love the show. I love you, Kurt. I think you're hilarious. I've watched all your, a lot of your, what the fuck setters, and and think you're hilarious, Katie. I loved you uh, when you were on Married with Children. I love you on the show. And, um, of course, I love Sons of Anarchy, but I do have a question, actually, about the Bastard Executioner. I wondered if any of the cast is following um, to the show. What? I, I, I lost the last piece of the question. Oh, oh. Uh, I just wondered if any of the cast from Sons are following you uh, to the Bastioner. We're going to see um, any of the... I, um... You know, uh, I would love, I would love that, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, unfortunately for me, but fortunately for my actors, um, uh, they're in high demand. Uh, but, um, you know, Charlie's doing, um, you know, he's a movie, you know, he's got this movie, he's playing um, uh, uh, King Arthur and... Uh, uh, what'll be nice is that Charlie will actually be in the UK while I'm there, so we'll be able to uh, hang a bit. Um, and I think Tommy might be doing that movie with him. So there's a lot of things up in the air, um, but um, some of it, quite honestly, is is um, 
uh, we're shooting it in the UK, and it's you know it's a it's a big UK package, and it's um, I, I pretty much have to use uh, UK based actors, which. You know, uh, I'm excited about um, because there's uh, um, some uh, amazing talent um, in uh, in the UK and and uh, and Scotland and and uh, and Ireland, uh, and we'll be shooting it in Wales. Uh, and um, so, uh, uh, my, you know, I have uh, I've had some conversations with people uh, about the possibility of it, but. Nothing I can really talk about because everything is is speculative. But uh, I would say that you know, for the most part, I would work with uh, with any of those people again in a heartbeat. You know, and is uh, the wife going to be in it? Uh, my wife will be in it. Yes, she is. <laughs> you uh, always, you're talking about a lot of other actors. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, I thought that everyone knew that because it was there was publicity about that. But well, uh, I don't know if everyone knows that. Uh, well, of course. I, see, to me, it's a no-brainer. Yeah. <laughs> I so, see. I got gotcha. you. Because you know, I'm not an idiot. I'm, you know, you're my lucky charm. So. It's uh, a sweet guy. Um, so uh, yes, my wife will be in it, playing an incredibly different character, and that's all I'll say. Uh, the lady in box number one. Hi guys, can you hear me? We can. Yes. What's your name? My name is Vanessa. I'm calling from Canyon Country, California. Hi, Hi. Vanessa. Hi guys. Uh, first and foremost, uh, thank you so much for doing this with us, both of you, Katie and Kurt. I love both of you guys. Everything you guys have done, I appreciate. So thank you. You're welcome. Uh, uh, so my question is actually a little bit for both of you, Kurt. Um, what? What made you decide to have Gemma be the one to kill Tara? And um, Katie, how did you feel being the one to to kill Tara out of everybody, you know, in the show? Um, how did you feel being having to be the one to kill her? Well, first of all, you know, you can't lose with a bitch killing a bitch. So, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. Never that thought makes, of it like that. That makes no sense. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there'll be cards and letters about that. Uh, yeah. No, but um, I always, uh, um, I knew, I wouldn't say I knew from the very beginning, um, but uh, I, I had a sense about two or three seasons in um, uh, when Tara was going to go and who was going to do it, um, knowing where I wanted to end the series. So I've known for a while. Um, uh, nobody else really knew until we came into, I'd say midway through season five, I kind of brought uh, the writers uh, up to speed. And then obviously in the beginning of season six, had a conversation with uh, Maggie and, and Katie. How was that experience I, for you, Kate? Well, I thought, you know, at first I was, um, I was really surprised by it and um, a little bit uncomfortable by it. And then um, as it kind of grew on me, it just became such an interesting, it's just interesting storytelling. It was just so, un, un, you know, unfathomable and uh, unforeseen. And I just thought it was a great twist. So from that perspective, um, from all perspectives, actually, it was, it was fantastic to play that kind of blind rage like that and to, uh, and particularly uh, towards somebody that she loved so much. But you know, you know what I like about the show is that it's so dimensional like that. It's dimensional people. It's people that you know don't just do one thing. They um, they twist and turn in a three dimensional way. So you know, it's true to my husband. I thought it was fantastic storytelling. And sometimes a bitch just got to kill a bitch. Yeah, sometimes a bitch just got to kill a bitch. You know. Um, thank you. <laughs> I understand what you mean, honey. Let's take one more question. Uh, this uh, young lady in uh, the box here on the bottom. Me? Y you. Yeah. Okay. I was just wondering. Uh, tell, us, tell, tell, us your name. tell us your name. Tell us your Shelly, name. Shelly, sorry. Okay, Shelly. Shelly from <laughs> Jacksonville. Can you uh, hear me? We can hear yes. you. Yes. Uh, 
but I read recently that you have a comedy series in the works too. I was just wondering if there was any truth to that. Something about <laughs> clown diva or something. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, uh, I do have a comedy series in the works. It's called Sons of Anarchy, and uh, <laughs> it's the funniest show on TV. Uh, I do. I, I do agree I, with that. <laughs> That I, was actually going to be something else. Cause <laughs> it, it, no matter how sad an episode is, there is always the best unexpected humor thrown in there. And I just freaking love that. Thank I you. love it. Thank you guys you. are brilliant. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, we, I had written a, a, a half hour called, uh, diva clown killer. Um, and, uh, <laughs> uh it, it's an interesting idea and it was a fun script. Uh, Nobody knew what the fuck it was or, or how to fucking produce oh, I it. Loved it. I thought it was so, great. Um, so, you know, FX passed on it, and uh, uh, and uh, 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 Dana Walden at uh, uh, 20th was very sweet, and she helped me pitch it to a couple other places. But, uh, um, uh, you know, it was, it was really, it was very fucking dark. Um, no, of course. And and the humor was really absurd. And I and I think nobody um, I don't think there were, nobody knew sort of what box to put it in. And uh, and I don't mean that as a bad thing. Uh, uh, but I I ultimately realized that um, you know uh, we what did we we tried I don't know I think we tried a bunch of places and, and then ultimately nobody took a bite. So, you know, none of those things are ever in vain, you know, they're all sort of creative exercises and, uh, um, and I'm very happy with the script. Um, it's uh, a really good script. He's being very, it's a really good script, but, uh, you know, uh, you win, you know, you, you, you win some and you, and you, and you, uh, uh, and sometimes you get fucked in the ass by a clown. So, uh, <laughs> and I think I'll end on that note. Uh, <laughs> nothing like ending on, an, on, a, on getting fucked in the ass by a clown. Uh, uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, thanks for joining us. Look at that. I kept it down to a half hour. Um, my 15 minute live chat, I've gotten it down to a half hour. Um, uh, thank you everybody for checking in and, uh, um, and you can watch this, uh, uh, we post it to my YouTube uh, page, I believe, um, or at least that's what people tell me. Um, and uh, uh, and um, keep watching. We're not on this Tuesday, but we're on the following Tuesday. The last two motherfucking episodes of Sons of Anarchy. Uh, I want to thank my uh, lovely uh, wife, uh, Katie Segal, for joining us. And... Uh, uh, I have I have information about like plumbing for you, so we'll talk later. Um, plumbing? Plumbing? <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, uh, thank you, kids. Uh, good night. We'll do this again. I'm going to do this next Friday after Thanksgiving when everyone is brain dead. So come visit me then. Maybe we'll have the whole family on. Oh yeah, I'll have my entire family on next <laughs> Friday. Everybody, I'll have 111 people at my house, and they'll all be on. <laughs> So, join us. Bye. Bye.